Welcome to the world of gamification. When I entered the unpredictable and scary world of academics, it was nothing short of a roller coaster ride. Each day, I felt like a soldier in a war zone, exposed to adolescent hormones, fighting for my students' attention amidst the carpet bombing from the social media and the drones of syllabus completion literally ripping me apart. I used to crawl into the bed, exhausted every day at night, wondering if I am making any real difference as an educator. But that night, my life changed upside down. I was staying in the college hostel with my students. And by around 2 a.m. early morning, loud noises from the nearby rooms woke me up. I heard my students yelling, kill them, cover me, use a sniper. And my heart skipped a beat. I rushed to one of the rooms. And to my surprise, I saw all my students, full of energy, playing a video game. <laughs> and I was shocked, because it was after a full day of back to back lecture. And there they were, full of energy, immersed in a video game. How could they be so alive, so focused, so engaged at this point of time? And it stuck me like a lightning. Games are powerful, magical, and deeply engaging. Games have something in them that captures the imagination of young minds. And games are the most powerful weapons in the armory of an educator. I started contemplating how can I transform classroom teaching into an immersive gaming experience. And my life has never been the same ever since. Next day, I came across a statement. Life is a game. You have to be a player or a toy. I told to myself, this is a bit of an overstatement. But little did I knew that I would be proved wrong in a day's time. Next day, I went to a shopping mall. And at the building counter, I was paying using an online payment app. The next moment, I received a message, collect five stamps to get rupees 251 and to win prices worth one lakh. A few moments later, I got a message from my friend, do you have Rangoli stamp? It is the rarest one. And I realized I was not paying online. I was playing a game. I could see tweets, memes, and videos on how to win the game. People were strategizing, collaborating, and competing just because of a simple gamified reward system. This was gamification of online payment. In the afternoon, I opened an e-commerce app to buy a book. But before I could make a purchase, I was taken to a game zone. You heard me right. A game zone in an e-commerce app. I played spin the wheel, got a prize. After my purchase, I got a message. You have won eight coins. I learned that this virtual, with this virtual currency, I can buy products and renew subscriptions. But then came the real kicker. I got a message. Your coin balance is 150. And with 47 coins, you can sponsor the education of a girl child. Come on! This was not shopping. This was online gamified shopping with a social impact. And in the evening, I went to a fast food restaurant to grab a burger. And there it was again, gamification. They had a win-win game where people collected and shared property stickers to get free food. Customers were running around scanning property stickers to the app to download digital peels to get instant price. This was gamified customer engagement from a different universe. 
and my eventful day ended with a bang. In, at night, I was searching a career networking site, and what I saw left me dumbstruck. There was a message, your profile completedness is 25%, and add your current position and improve it by 15%. They even had profile strength. Users start off as a beginner, and once you reach 100% profile completedness, you become an all-star. That was gamification of career networking. And at that moment, I realized everything in this world is gamified, even education. I wanted to learn Spanish, and I downloaded a language learning app. And within a few minutes, I learned that it was gamified. There was a virtual avatar to cheer me. And I can track my progress with streaks. Then I get virtual currencies when I complete task. It was fun. Then I saw my cousin's daughter watching a maths video in a MOOC platform. And I asked her, why you are so excited? And she said, she pointed at the screen, and I could see badges. Earth, sun, moon, and even black hole badges. She was not learning. She was playing. And that was the moment when I realized it is not, it's a gamified world. Whether we realize it or not, Games are shaping the way we learn, we engage, and we inter how we interact with the daily lives. And whether we realize we have only two choices. We, we can be the player, or we can be the played. And I chose the first one, and that made all the difference. I started diving deep into the world of gamification. First, by taking some online sessions, and then by joining an online gamification community. After that, I started contemplating how I could use my understanding about gamification to help people to make an impact, to make this world a better place. I thought for hours, for days, for months, and then I knew where to start with myself. I am a cancer survivor, and I know how tough it is to survive, to keep yourself motivated to the challenging journey, overcoming chemotherapy, radiotherapy, bone marrow transplantation, and above all, heart-piercing social stigma. It's a journey that tests your body, mind, and soul. And I realized the best way to keep yourself motivated through this tough time is through shared stories. Stories of people who have already walked the path, who have already conquered cancer, and who are willing to share their story. Keeping this in mind, I created the ICANN app. This app was not just a tool, it was a companion for people who are battling cancer. Through this app, people can interact with cancer winners, listen to their motivational videos, and read articles about their success stories. And by doing that, they will get points and badges, which was rewarding. And the result? By taking feedback from 1,000 cancer patients, we developed a prototype. And I am thrilled to announce that a full-fledged model of that app is under development. After the success of ICANN, I was approached by a famous metro rail corporation. They wanted to transform their metro station into something more than a transit hub. They want to create a space where it can inspire commuters, engage them, 
and unearth the hidden hero in themselves. That was when the project Marie Metro was born. Through Marie Metro, we captured the journey of a commuter and gamified it right from the moment they entered into the metro station till the moment they boarded the train. There was a lot of gamified activities to unearth the real hero in them, some of which was squat corner, where they could do 30 squats to win a free metro rail ticket. Healthy stairs designed in such a way that the passengers will be motivated to take the stairs instead of the escalators. And the word for your hero, using the metro ticket that we usually throw away, and vote for your favorite stars, and much, much more. And the outcome, in 10 days, we have gamified 10,000 passengers and helped them unearth the real hero in themselves. After Marie Metro, I associated with a prominent Lee, a law university to take the power of gamification to the world of legal education. Their objective was to gamify their five-year LLB curriculum and make it an immersive game. So we captured the journey of a law student and integrated a storyline in such a way that they start by handling cases in lower court and by the end of their final year, they will fight the cases in the Supreme Court. We integrated feedback that helped the people collaborate and compete. And they were able to use the dynamics of massive multiplayer online role-playing games. And the result, it was a resounding success. With around 500 students, completely engaged in the game. They have included it in their curriculum, and it is the first of its kind in the country. Thank you. In my gamification journey came during the COVID pandemic, when all of us were taken to the strange world of online teaching. This shift to the digital classrooms, as an educator, most of the educators felt it as challenging and overwhelming. So I was approached by the Directorate of General Education, Kerala government, to develop a teacher training program to equip the teachers to excel in online classrooms. And that was how the project Guru was born. And the theme of the project it was mountaineering. Why mountaineering? I believed it integrated learning, adventure, and fun. This completely gamified virtual training program was designed in such a way that all the teachers, they were taken for a virtual intellectual tour to reach the top of Mount K2, which is the second highest peak in the world. And throughout, those, throughout that journey, they have a lot of challenges like quests, quizzes, and puzzles, which they overcome, they will get points and badges, and they will reach the top of Mount K2. And the result, I got the opportunity to train 10,000 teachers and help them take their teaching uh, skill to the next level. Thank you. <laughs> then, I was able to give light to lots of gamification projects having a social impact. To name a few, Varna Shalabangal, gamification for child development. Krudeburum Sial, gamification for commuter engagement. Acharya, gamification for learning and development. Oppam, gamification for HIV AIDS awareness. Uh, Aishman Bhava, gamification for life support awareness. And the recent one, Marod Cherkam, gamification for breast cancer awareness. And through this, thousands of people have been reached, gamified, 
and social impact has been created. I have been the gamification consultant for n number of corporates, and the recent one, recent one being an online robot learning platform, along with whom we are creating the first offline robotic gamified park in the country. In the area of training, so I have traveled across the globe conducting training programs for corporates, public enterprises, and international universities. And in the area of publishing, I have published eight books. Four of them is in the area of gamification, published 25 papers in the area of gamification in Scopus Index Journals. Thank you. I started with my speech with a quote, life is a game, you can either be a player or a toy. And in the last 15 minutes, we have realized that we are living in a completely gamified world where we have two choices, either be a player or be a pawn. And if you decide to be a player, if you decide to be a master of gamification, then you can change any challenge into an opportunity. I would like to end my speech with a quote by Albert Einstein. You have to learn the rules of the game, and then you have to play better than anyone else. If you learn the rules of the game, and if you play it better than anyone else, there is nothing in the world that, you could, that could stop you. So wishing each one of you a great, remarkable, gamified life ahead. Thank you.